Hello, and welcome back to part 13 of my Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex Let's Play, the second to last part I believe, where in this part, after completing the sixth warp room in Coco's lab, we are now going to go and collect the remaining gems, which is only two, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool stuff, so this is going to be a very short part I believe, so obviously the first one that we didn't get along the way was the secret gem in compactor reactor so yeah let's just go in and get that one so yeah this one shouldn't take too long to get although I will say the uh, the track on this one is pretty tricky I'm not gonna lie so uh, because there are nitros everywhere and as I say the depth perception in this game is uh, far from amazing because as I say that's what Ref of Cortex is actually like unfortunately so uh, yeah, this controller keeps like glitching out as well. I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can sort myself some sort of like Bluetooth adapter because the uh, the built-in Bluetooth on this laptop is pants. So yeah, but that aside, anyway. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff has happened since the last part. There has been no Wumpa League announcement. However, there are a few other things I would like to say, but this requires a heaps of concentration. So. You know, it's the depth perception. The actual level itself is easy, but the depth perception is not. And there we go, we got it. Nice. So yes, uh, that's an alternate path on the uh, minecart ride. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty straightforward. And I'm, I'm actually quite surprised I got that first time. Now this next gem, I cannot promise a single thing that I'm going to get that first time. And the other one that we're missing is in Banzai Bonsai. So yes. Uh, there is of course the red gem path in this level, which obviously I didn't get along the way last time, so yeah, this time I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and get that, so yes, as I was saying, a lot has happened since the last race, and I'll say that the main thing that has really happened, even though there has been no Wumpa League announcement yet, or any announcements of any new Crash games or Spiral 4, something exciting I do say to have is, I did a final playoff in the... Uh, ISGP, International Spiral Grand Prix, yes, Super Crash League, which was of course, because the Grand Final, there was a bit of an issue uh, with one of the final competitors, so I did a one-off playoff with Psychic Gamer, so uh, yes, and it was in this game, so yes, this I thought this would be a perfect time to bring this up, so, but a lot happened in that race, you know, I was kind of like leading by level and a half, up to, let's say, the third warp room, and then he decided to rage quit, so yeah, that was that. I believe he was having some technical issues, but uh, yeah, so Psychic Gamer rage quit in the race. So obviously I took the victory for that, so I am indeed the Super Crash League victor. So yeah, really exciting news. I've actually won a tournament, which I never thought I'd actually be able to do. So yeah, this is definitely not something I'm taking for granted, and I'm uh, really happy with it. Probably the only tournament I win, but I'm really happy I've done that because... As I say, Crash is definitely my strong suit, so, you know, when it comes to gaming skills, so, yeah, really, really cool stuff. Now, he did get fourth place, Monkey Man and Mayo Doctor got put into second and third. I can't remember which order that was, but for the simple reason, he rage quit, so, uh, yeah, Crystal Fissure and the host, uh, Nintendo Gen 64, decided to, uh, put him in fourth place for rage quitting, even though it wasn't the final round. I don't know if that's the way I'd have done it, but I mean that does make perfect sense. So, but as I say, I am the victor of the Super Crash League, so yeah, really, really cool stuff has happened there. So I might actually post a link to that in the description, actually, because I've talked about it throughout most of the video. So I might as well put it in the uh, description and I'd have no idea how you meant to even walk through there. I mean, yeah, this is just, you know, glitchy pants it really is but you know obviously yeah so that's what I mean the hit boxes in this are really wide for the nitros and other hazards if I if only I had an extra Aku Aku I think I will be safer I really do so I'm actually gonna go a little bit ahead and see if I can actually find mind that nitro no 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 okay so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead but I am going quite far ahead here, and I mean, it is a lot to backtrack, you know, just to get a uh, an extra Aku Aku, but you know, 
it might as well be worth the attempt, so, you know, that is what I'm going to do. So, I mean, it's not a death route, so if I die, I'm not exactly going to lose anything, am I? So, obviously, just don't activate the checkpoint, otherwise, I am not going to have any Akko Akkus anymore. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, I thought I lost that then. That was, uh, that's probably the scariest thing that could possibly happen in Rafa Cortex. Uh, you know, losing all your Akko Akkus when you need them, uh, you know, for this one death route, so... Yes, come on. There we go. So at least we're back on the gem path. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully this time I'm going to get this because, as I say, this is definitely not the easy. You see, how are you meant to even walk through that without getting stunned? Is it even possible? I really want to know the answer to that. Oh, but you are kidding me. Oh, come on. How am I? This is like the worst ever gem path in the game. And you'll see a big reason why. A bigger reason more than this difficulty. And this awkward platforming by bad design. Uh, in a minute. When I get to the end. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see that. You see, how are you even meant to get under there? That is... Yeah, it's all a big joke. Now, I've got to try to find a way to get over them nitros without getting hurt by them. Because maybe if I jump them, I might get away fine. Maybe a running jump? I don't know. Uh... I can definitely give it a try, can't I? And you can't do that. That's the, that's the thing. You just can't do it. So, I mean, I do have the running shoes. Not really makes a difference. The running shoes do actually speed you up by in the air. It does sort of like have that crash for it's about time mechanic. You know, like the spin dash you can go fast with when you, even though you are, you know, sort of like aviated. So, yeah, aviated. That is a big word. But, yeah. Okay, so under that. How am I even meant to race ahead? of them um, TNTs and Nitros in order to maybe if I detonate them and go backwards a bit I could try that but this has always been the, this is like the hardest part of the whole game this is like the ultimate test which I mean if I'm playing the game in the order that I am playing it that would make perfect sense because I mean this is like the last thing I'm doing so it could be the ultimate test of a game but you know it still makes absolutely no sense that they like make this one jet you know death uh, gem path. I can I mix them up. I don't know why. Uh, so difficult compared to like the rest of the game. It just does not make any sense. Oh, and don't forget the relics in this game as well. They can be hard. Although I didn't exactly have too hard a time. Maybe I've just over adapted to Crash Falls. Uh, relic time trial mechanics. Come on. Right, what am I going to do here? I've got to think long and hard about this. No! Oh, damn it. I was near the end. So, yeah. Uh, but the good thing is, the dynamic difficulty has now kicked in. So, I have the Aku Aku uh, boost at the start. Even though I've lost five lives. Uh, you know, 95, you know. The ancient window is 95 operating system. Uh, but not that that's relevant anyway. So, regardless. Uh, hopefully, we can get this done. Uh, No! Okay, so I've lost that, so that is really, uh, got me in big trouble now, so I'm going to use the same strat as I had before. No! Right, I, I'm losing, I'm, I'm losing my sanity. I really am. This is just, this is just not working out. This is just, yeah. This is really not working out at all. Uh, So I'm just going to run through these, because there doesn't seem to be any way I can get through here without damage. This would like be the death of me. If I was to do like a 100% speed run of this game. In fact, I don't even think I'd bother doing it just for this gem path alone. Uh, but I mean, luckily you do only need gold. But you know, this gem path alone is would kill me in a speed run. But at least, you know, it's not part of a collected colour gem, so. It's just what a colour gem gets you. And there we go. So, yeah, super belly flop. Yeah, really. For a more powerful belly flop, press X to jump. And then circle at the top of a jump. Wow, I've completed the game. And now it's given me this move. Which, yeah, which. What am I even going to use it for? I've finished the game. And even so, you don't really need it. I mean. It, don't get me wrong, it was like one of them luxuries in Crash 3 Warped. 
you know, that's what it actually was. I'm not gonna lie, there's no denying it was, but... In this game, what even do you benefit from using it? Like, is there any purpose in even having it in this game? Because to me, there really is not. So yes, let's save our game. Uh, and our percentage is now 106, so we have fully completed the game. However, there is going to be one more part where we are going to be doing the final boss again. Because that will give us the, uh, you know, the final showdown. So, yes, and the 100% ending. So, and I'll also show the credits in that part too. So, of course, everyone, thank you so much for watching this part. I hope you all enjoyed my suffer on the uh, Red Gem Path there. And as well, yeah, just, yeah. And also, the stuff about the uh, ISGP Grand Final with Psychic Gamer. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a... Uh, a lot of crazy stuff, so of course everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed this part, and I will indeed see you all in the final part 14, where we take on this final boss one more time, so, have a good one everyone, and take care, I will see you in the next one, which should hopefully be uploaded by Christmas, so yes everyone, have a good one, catch you later, and goodbye.